Extending from Virginia to Michigan, a seven-state area of cities, towns, farmland, and mountainous terrain, eight electric companies interconnect to form the transmission system of the American Electric Power Company. The system's 21,000 miles of transmission lines bring power to 7 million people. 2,000 miles of this line, the backbone of the system, is a 765,000 volt transmission network, delivering electric energy at unit costs and losses that are among the lowest in the world. Until 1986, maintenance on these lines was performed from aerial lift trucks and conductor carts. In that year, a new service was provided by Haverfield Helicopters of Miami, Florida. This service, using helicopters, eliminates many of the drawbacks ground crews encounter, and it saves time and money. Mud or snow, when severe enough, can prevent a ground crew from entering a work area. And mountainous terrain not only makes it difficult to get to the work site, but depressions and valleys can limit working heights. In farm country, aerial lift trucks can damage field crops or compact the soil. Most importantly, helicopter maintenance eliminates the need to de-energize 765 kV circuits. The helicopters are now a vital part of AEP's 765 kV system maintenance for replacing spacers, full tension phase conductor and shield wire splices, repairing damaged conductors with line guards, and replacing marker balls. On a 765 kV line, spacers shaped in 18-inch squares are placed every 200 feet to ensure the integrity of the four-conductor bundle. Two helicopters in an assembly line formation replace a series of worn or defective spacers. One helicopter removes an old spacer, the second helicopter then installs a new one. The pilot and line mechanic wear conductive suits for electrostatic protection. A body harness secures the line mechanic to the platform. Near at hand are the air-driven and hydraulic tools that are needed for maintenance procedures. The line mechanic makes contact with the energized line with a conducting wand to bring the platform and the helicopter to the electric potential of the line. When this bonding is established, the line mechanic attaches a breakaway clamp to maintain a balanced potential making it safe to work on a line. An air-driven impact wrench allows the line mechanic to quickly remove the old spacer and an air-driven C-clamp developed by the helicopter company allows the line mechanic to easily install the new spacer. These tools cut the replacement time in half compared to using conventional tools on the helicopter platform. After finishing the work, the line mechanic reverses the bonding procedure for safe release from the conductor. Helicopters offer their main economic benefit by eliminating long setup procedures and reducing work time. In one day, nearly 30 times the number of spacers can be replaced with helicopters as with aerial lift trucks. Working from an aerial lift truck, a line mechanic can replace an average of six to eight spacers a day. But working from a helicopter's platform with special tools, a line mechanic can replace an average of 200 to 250 spacers daily. Helicopters replaced 736 spacers in 1987 to save over $150,000 in labor costs. A conventional full tension shield wire splice can take two days for a crew with an aerial lift truck. In contrast, the procedure from the flying platform takes an average of 45 minutes, regardless of the terrain, making it possible to complete six to eight splices a day with one helicopter. The unique application of two devices assists the line mechanic in completing a shield wire splice. First, a dead-end jack allows an air-driven impact wrench to remove tension from the shield wire, eliminating the need for a cumbersome chain tensioning device. The second, a hydraulic compression tool, allows the line mechanic to easily apply the necessary 60 tons per square inch of compression. 
This first time use of an implosive splicing technique from a helicopter will shorten the procedure by eliminating compression time. The implosive splice is installed in the same manner, then detonated either by a remote device or a timed fuse to quickly apply the uniform compression. This procedure, unique for helicopters, also significantly reduces the cost of this splice. Performing a full tension shield wire splice from a helicopter saves an average of $3,400 per splice in labor costs. An estimated $1.2 million was saved in 1987 in completing 221 splices. This savings does not include the possible cost of replacement power or increased system losses if the circuit were de-energized as is required with conventional methods. The helicopter mobile platform also offers tremendous savings in completing full tension phase conductor splices. A splice can be performed in 90 minutes, five to seven splices per day, as compared to at least two days for a ground crew in a remote location. A hydraulic tension device developed by the helicopter company removes tension on the phase conductor faster than the chain hoist used in an aerial lift procedure. A hydraulic compression tool provides the required 100 tons per square inch of compression. These devices are equipped with breakaway air hose and hydraulic connectors in case the helicopter needs to pull away from the line, protecting the mechanic, line, and helicopter. Preformed conductor line guards are installed on damaged strands of bundled phase conductors to prevent further strand deterioration. Again, the helicopter provides a mobile platform for this work. A total of 50 line guards were installed by this method in 1987. Installing aerial marker balls for aircraft warning can take a day or more with a ground crew, but requires approximately three minutes from a helicopter's platform. The marker ball manufacturer worked with the helicopter company to develop a special grip and bolt assembly to simplify the installation. Marker ball via helicopter saves approximately $1,000 per installation. For work on line hardware at the tower, the helicopter is used as an aerial lift. Tethered with safety lines, the linemen carry the tools and supplies necessary to perform the work. They also carry emergency self-rescuing devices in the event they must lower themselves to the ground. In this case, the linemen are replacing a cotter pin in the insulator assembly and installing a damper and support rod. When the work is finished, the linemen retrace their walk on the line back to the platform. Using the helicopter for this procedure is cost-effective for critical repairs that would otherwise be postponed when site conditions prevent access by a ground crew. A comprehensive visual inspection of transmission lines with a helicopter provides a thorough close order look at a line and its components. Experienced line mechanics, who serve as in-flight inspectors, study the engineering details of the 765 kV line. They consult with power company officials to identify the specific problem areas and components to be inspected. The inspection examines all major and minor components, shield wires, conductors, spacers, insulators, and suspension assemblies, 
structures, footings, and rights of way. Individual components as small as cotter pins and locking nuts are scrutinized. During flight, the helicopter is slowly maneuvered along the transmission line. Two qualified line mechanics are on board, alternating the duties of inspector and data recorder. The inspector, using gyro-stabilized optics and lighting equipment, observes all power line conditions. He takes close-up photos of all but the most routine problems. The data recorder writes all discrepancies on an inspection report form. The pictures are then numbered to correspond to the items in the inspection report. After the flight, the project supervisor reviews the inspection report for clarity and encoding accuracy. Shield wire located approximately eighth spacer row. Replace effective type splice. He then sends the report to the administrative offices where the data is keyed into a computer database program. The computer processes the information and provides three reports. One identifies the condition of each structure and span inspected. A second identifies the condition of each discrepancy. And the third summarizes the occurrence of each discrepancy. These reports go to the utility along with the numbered photos taken during the flight. This material is useful for pinpointing critical conditions that may threaten system reliability or safety to persons or property. It also provides useful information in detecting equipment failure trends. Helicopter inspection costs compare favorably with conventional methods but produce superior results. Due to the ability of the helicopter to observe hardware from the top as well as the bottom, more correctable problems are observed than are seen from the ground or tower. The inspection program allows any discrepancies to be analyzed for proper maintenance without sending personnel to the location to evaluate necessary repairs. This new approach, using helicopters to inspect and repair transmission line hardware, has a strategic place in the ongoing maintenance practices of electric utilities. Conventional means, by aerial lift truck and conductor cart, will likely be around for a long time. There remain situations and conditions where aerial lift trucks are effective for barehanded work on energized conductors. Helicopters eliminate many of the drawbacks that ground crews encounter, mountainous terrain, mud and snow, remote sites, crop damage, soil compaction, right-of-way contracts, long distances between work sites, and limited working heights vanish with the helicopter. And the need to de-energize lines is eliminated. Helicopters prove efficient by eliminating the time involved in travel and setup. Also, from the platform, it is possible to save time by using special tools designed for each airborne procedure. In fact, time savings are gained by eliminating just one minute from a procedure that is repeated many times a day. In 1987, American Electric Power saved over $1.4 million in labor costs. These savings do not include such items as replacement power, increased system losses and higher operational costs which would have resulted from using conventional aerial lift techniques. In addition, repairs that would have taken ground crews many years to complete were completed in a very short period of time. These benefits have allowed American Electric Power to continue to maintain our 765 kV system in the most cost-effective manner to ensure the lowest cost energy to our 7 million customers.